Welcome to STB exam forum. We have come up with a new video on ISRO assistant, UDC and JP exam. And in today's session, we are going to cover important topics in quantitative aptitude, right? So without wasting any time, let's begin this session. So student, till now we have covered important topics in English section and important topics in journal intelligence and reasoning section okay so you can watch those videos uh, they might be helpful for your preparation okay so the scheme of exam for this ISRO assistant UDC and JPA exam is like this there will be 120 minutes that is 2 hours and there will be 200 questions okay and each question carry one mark and there will be negative of 0.25 marks that is one fourth okay so as i told you earlier till now we have seen the important topics in journal english and journal intelligence and reasoning section in today's session uh, we are going to cover this particular subject that is quantitative aptitude and the number of questions which uh, are expected in this particular section is 50 okay so let's see the pattern from the last uh, three years that we have covered already okay so these are the topics uh, that i have selected from those uh, question paper so the exam which i consider was 2016 2014 and 2012 okay so let's see the first topic and the first topic is average a very important topic in all the competitive examination and as you can see you can expect at least one question from this particular section okay so but in here if you see 2012 you have three questions okay so randomly you can expect one to two question from average okay the next topic is percentage so percentage is another topic and uh, again if you see there is no fixed pattern but you can expect two to three questions from this particular topic coming to the next topic that is time and work so continuously you have two questions so we expect two questions from this particular topic as well okay coming to the ratio again uh, you can expect two question i guess right speed time and distance again you can expect two questions profit and loss we have seen one questions in each of the years so you can expect one question at least okay in partnership although uh, it can be covered in percentage as well on profit and loss uh, you can expect one question okay so let's say one question because uh, in 2016 they have not asked uh, a single question okay then problem on ages uh, they have been asked in 2012 and 14 so from the safer side you can prepare or expect one question from these problem in ages and ci simplification is very important topic student okay so have a look on that you can expect two to three questions from simplification and another important topic is hcflcm i have seen two to three question in each of these year okay so as you can see two questions have been asked in year 2016 and two uh, three questions in 2012 one question in 2014 so you can expect two to three questions from hcflcm from mensuration part area and volume you can expect again two to three questions and this most important and very difficult part is this miscellaneous part why i am saying it is difficult part because there are certain other topics like consecutive number permutation number system clock height and distance and divisibility okay so in particular uh, year sometime they have asked from the clock sometime they have asked from the height and distance sometime they have asked from divisibility okay so rather than putting separate topic uh, i prefer to put in one column that is 
miscellaneous columns so you can prepare those question as well consecutive number permutation what do you mean by permutation for example if you have word say isro okay so in how many forms you can uh, write this uh, isro in different ways okay so as you know they 1 2 3 4 so four factorial will be the answer okay those type of question you can prepare then a few question on number system and clock clock uh, that question was very difficult i think it was asked in here 2016 this height and distance uh, was very easy and uh, divisibility this uh, type of question they have asked many times okay so you can prepare this divisibility consecutive number types of question okay these are very few uh, topics that you need to look into okay so you can expect four to five question from that okay but student there is one catch uh, in this okay so if you see the last 3 years okay so they generally ask 23 to 25 question from each section okay so if you count all these you will find 23 to 25 questions okay you if you sum up all these number of question you will find there is 25 to 23 to 25 questions in it mm, okay so but this time our exam is of 50 marks okay exam is of 50 marks so how to do deal with that okay so so the most common uh, thing you can do just multiply it by 2 okay so you can expect 2 to 4 question okay here you can expect 4 to 6 question sorry 4 to 6 question 4 question 4 question 4 question okay 2 2 2 likewise you can multiply it by 2 okay so that is one part okay but this time they have given the syllabus okay let's go to the syllabus this is the indicative syllabus that uh, they have given on the website so let's see what topics are given in this particular indicative syllabus and what we have seen from the last year so number system they have asked percentage we have seen profit and loss we have seen discount is a new topic they have not uh, given in the last exams ratio and proportion ratio they have given but proportion they have not given this is not mixture mixture and allegation uh, is another topic that they have not asked a single question average they have asked simple interest they have not asked but compound interest they have asked time and distance they have asked time and work they have asked pipe and systems they have asked boat and stream they have not asked partnership uh, sometime they have asked okay third and indices they have not asked lcm hcf they have asked simplification they have asked geometry not all the geometry they have asked okay mensuration area and volume they have asked perimeter they have not asked trigonometry they have not asked a single question only height and distance we have seen particular question in algebra uh, they have given only linear equation type of question in the previous year okay so these are uh, some new topics that you need to see okay polynomial sequence algebraic identity okay coming to the statistic and data interpretation uh, i think from statistic one question was there that was very simple okay so these uh, are many topics in fact but this particular slide if you look these are the few topics that you will definitely see in this particular isro assistant exam okay okay so if you have uh, time you can go for this uh, round uh, uh, subjects okay third and indices trigonometry you can look if you have time otherwise you prepare well for these particular topic only okay i think uh, we are done with this particular session okay so uh, this is our channel and uh, you can see we have made a lot of video on isro exam mission isro and let's solve pyq isro and if you have not subscribed to our channel you can subscribe it uh, we have more videos on especially drdo and isro okay so let's wind up this session 
so if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box we will be very happy to answer those questions so okay so thank you for watching and have a nice day